Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-72 and that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is determine the absolute maximum bending stress in 1.5 inch diameter shaft which is subjected to concentrated forces. The sleeve bearing at A and B only support vertical forces. So you can see this is the shaft clear and there are two concentrated forces 400 and 300 pounds and at A and B we have sleeve bearing which only exert vertical forces. So we'll find the absolute maximum bending stress. So let's start with the solution. First step is that if you remove this sleeve bearing at A so you will be having a reaction force which is RA. And if you remove this uh, sleeve bearing at B, you will be having a reaction force RB. So we will draw the free body diagram. The free body diagram is shown over here. So we'll find this RA and RB by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A first moment is this 400 into perpendicular distance is 12. This is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative. So I will write it minus 400 into perpendicular distance is 12. The second moment about point A is this RB into perpendicular distance is 30 inch. And this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive. So I will write plus RB into 30 clear and the last moment that is produced due to 300 pound force and perpendicular distance is this total length which is equal to 12 plus 18 30 45 45 inch and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 300 into 45 will be equal to zero so from here you will get 30 rb will be equal to 400 multiplied by 12 plus 300 multiplied by 45 and when you calculate it you will get this rb will be equal to 610 pounds okay now we'll find this ra by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so RA which is upward minus this 400 pound force plus RB which is 610 and minus 310 will be equal to 0. So what we will get is that this RA will be equal to 400 plus 310 minus 610. So when you calculate it, you will get this RA will be equal to 90 pounds. Now you have RA and RB. So we'll move toward drawing shear force and bending moment diagram because we need the maximum bending moment to find out the maximum bending stress. So for that, I will take the vertical lines from end of this beam clear. Similarly from here, you will also take and you will draw a horizontal line to show the length in inches x will be in inch and on y axis we have shear force that will have in unit pounds okay now we will take let each division will be equal to 100 so it is 100 200 and 300 you can take it is uh, as per your scale so minus 100 minus 200 and minus 300 clear so you can see that at point a we have ra which is equal to 90 pound so your first point will be let this is 90 pound so your first point will be this one now moving from point a till 400 load there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal till this point and it will be a straight uh, horizontal line clear now at this point we have 400 downward so 90 minus 400 will bring it to minus 310 so at this point it will change to 310 so let this point is 310 pounds 
so shear force will change from 90 to 310 and again moving from this 400 pound till RB there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal till point B so it will remain horizontal till this point clear now at point B we have RB which is upward so minus 310 plus 610 will be equal to uh, 300 so shear force will change to 300 this is minus 310 and this is 300 so shear force will change minus 300 to 300 pounds and again moving from point B till end we have no other shear force so it will remain horizontal clear and at the end you can see you have minus 300 that is downward so it will cause the shear force to come to zero point so this is your shear force diagram now from this shear force diagram we will find the maximum bending moment so again for that i will take a horizontal line to show length in inches and on vertical axis we have moment that will be having unit pound into inch so let uh, each division is of 500 clear so it, it will be 1000 similarly minus 500 minus 1000 clear so 2 minus 2000 minus 3000 minus 4000 and this will be minus 5000 you can extend this vertical line clear and similarly from here as well okay now uh, the first area at point x we have x is equal to 0 so movement will be 0 so at first point we will having movement will be equal to 0 so this is your first point now the area under the shear force diagram is this area this is the first area and this area is equal to 90 multiplied by this length 12 and that will give you 1080 so at this length we have 1080 which will be just like here here so 1080 let this point is 1080 pound into inch you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing because this is a positive area so we will join these two points so it will be like a straight line clear the second area is this area you can see this shaded area and this is uh, rectangular so its area will be equal to minus 310 into 18 so it will give you uh, 5580 so plus uh, 1080 and this is minus 5580 will give you minus 4500 so it will be somewhere here 4500 will be somewhere here clear so i will locate this point this is uh, 4000 minus 4500 and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is negative clear so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so it will be a straight line like this so i will join these two points using a straight line okay now the third area is this area and this area you can see is positive area and this is equal to 300 multiplied by the length which is 115 inch and you can see this area will be equal to 4500 plus 4500 so minus 45 plus 45 will cause the bending moment to zero at this point and uh, you can see you will get this straight line clear because this area is positive clear this area is positive and this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing so this will be your bending moment diagram okay now from this bending moment diagram from bmd so we will get 
maximum absolute value of maximum bending moment so from here you can see the maximum bending moment is minus 4500 we are taking the absolute value so it is 4500 pounds into inch and we know that uh, maximum bending absolute value of bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment absolute into c divided by i since we have been given a shaft having diameter of 1.5 inch so its radius c will be equal to c is equal to radius and this that c is equal to d divided by 2 so diameter was 1.5 inch divided by 2 will give you 0 0.75 inch so c is there and i moment of inertia second moment of inertia for a shaft having radius c is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 so put the value pi by 4 and c is 0 0.75 power 4 will give you the moment of inertia now you have c you have i and you have m so put it in this formula maximum absolute value of bending stress is equal to 4500 multiplied by c which is 0 0.75 inch divided by pi by 4 into 0 0.75 power 4 so when you solve this it will be 13.6 into 10 raised to power 6 uh, 10 raised to power 3 psi pound per square inch and when you convert it into ksi so this maximum bending stress, absolute value of maximum bending stress comes out to be 13.6 ksi which is the answer of our this question and that was all about this problem 6-72 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and supporting me